safe levels and linked with cancers of the bone marrow and lymphomas. Nitrogen dioxide can cause lung damage and increase risk of Nitrogen dioxide can cause lung damage and increases risk of respiratory infection in children. Ozone impairs lung function and increases sensitivity to allergens in those susceptible. PM10s. Tiny particles deposited in the lungs linked to heart and respiratory disease and may be responsible for thousands of deaths of vulnerable groups. More than half a million cars enter central London each day, pouring out clouds of highly toxic fumes. Nearly half of these vehicles are merely passing through the capital. The number of trips of two miles by cars has increased by 45% in London, while trips by bicycle, bus and foot have declined. The worst British smog took place in December 1952 and lasted a week. It killed an estimated 4,000 through heart and lung disease. Coal burnt in homes and factories was the main cause. Now, no one is daring to place a number on people dying, but it's estimated it could be 5 to 10 times this amount. And somehow, not directly related, but often triggered by traumas and anxieties generated as a result. It is so appalling 